What's up, Duelists? Nats is right around the corner, and I've had a couple people ask me to showcase this deck before Nats happens so that they can see how it's played and how to play against it. So I'm going to be playing Dragon Turbo in an eight-man tournament. I've made no changes to this list. This is a first-place deck list from RBT4 Season 3, so it's the most recent winning Dragon Turbo list. This deck has won three RBTs. It's one of the best decks in the format, in my opinion, and uh, hopefully I'm able to showcase why it's scary and why it's not so scary in the same 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 window here today on the on the channel anyway uh before we get into things apologies for um cropping out <laughs> the top of yesterday's video a little bit too much the deck was too powerful couldn't even fit in the frame uh the chris just worn deck list but i have added a new channel to the discord so if you see the discord here um if you scroll down under the Yu-Gi-Oh section i put decks i've used in a video I know a lot of people ask me to put the download links in the video. Um, I've been adding the download links to all the decks that I use in the videos that I consider to be competitive or at least interesting and um, strong enough to bring to a tournament in this channel. So I'm going to be adding this deck list as well as the deck list from yesterday's video into that channel. So if you want to get the deck list easy download, make sure you join the really big Yu-Gi-Oh Discord. You can find the info in the description below. And then also if you want to play in other tournaments besides Nats, maybe you couldn't make it to Nats like me. Um, and you want to play in other tournaments, RBT Maryland's coming up and RBT New York's coming up. So check the description below for signups for both of those events. They're going to be the most competitive Edison events all year. That I am certain, uh, as was RBT LA previously. It was easily the most competitive Edison event all year thus far. So um, definitely, definitely come to those if you if you want to compete with the best. All right, um, right, let's just get into it. We got an eight man and I'm playing as Julian. I'm going to explain how the deck works. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Why is there no Wyvern? Oh, my gosh. I feel like you should put Wyvern so you can bring it out off Future Fusion <laughs> every time. Oh, my God. Hey, good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. All right. So the way this deck works, pick a paper. I'm picking paper again. Actually, no. I'm picking scissors. Wait, I picked rock. I can't even think. I can't even think, but it worked. I can't even think, and it worked. That's that's justice, honestly. R RBT, rock pa RPS justice. That's what it is. All right, what are we talking about here? Oh, how this deck works. Yeah, it, it just does the thing. <laughs> That's such a stupid way to say it. Um, I just pass. You can usually take a hit or two. It doesn't matter that much. You can also set the white stone, but that's dumb. It's a plus one with card destruction, so. Uh. Yeah, the way this deck works is you try to build up a hand, and then you try to OTK. <laughs> I know crazy right oh fuck <laughs> this is gonna be hard oh gaia okay so he's playing uh looks like quick draw probably gonna send dandelion plus a hero here um it's either quick draw or it's frog hero with future fusion i played against frog hero with future fusion and dandy like at the wsoe and i fucking stomped it i, I don't know about frog hero i think it's a little bit uh overrated lone fire is gonna sack in RBETs, Frog Hero has consistently underperformed. The highest placing Frog Hero deck list has gotten second, and it was the the most recent deck list with the five draw traps. And I think that that's probably the best Frog Hero deck list. And I'm probably going to do a video on that deck uh, tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned. I guess if you want to see some Frog Hero action with I think the best Frog Hero deck list right now, uh, we're going to take a million damage here. This is really bad. Didn't attack any gores. Never mind. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> lucky us i'm gonna set trade in and then just card destruction i think we have to we could also just set reckless greed do we die next turn if he goes second titanium we could die next turn i don't think we can i don't think we can afford to wait i think we have to card destruction now so usually it's right to um oh he had another dandy Use a counter here or a token to count how many dragons you've discarded. So I'm gonna do that. So we've discarded two dragons. Uh, chain link one white stone, chain link two dandy. Yep. So he's gonna get he's gonna get his tokens, and I'm gonna get the blue eyes from my deck. I think we are gonna have to upstart goblin first because if we find another white stone we want to pitch it first before we trade in we did not okay well let's trade in and pray i guess draw two that gives us 
another dragon discarded we found a white stone which is perfect now we want to do it before upstart because we want the least amount of chance of drawing the third blue eyes so we draw two uh white stone that's going to search us the last blue eyes out of the deck and now we've got basically a handful of stuff we can do but none of it does anything unfortunately we're gonna have to upstart no rejuvenation no red med in the top half of our deck but we did find Trag, which is a pretty good card. So I'm thinking if we Magical Stone... We can Avarice... I'm not even sure what the fuck we Magical Stone for here. It's probably Trade-In or something. Yeah, I think we go Magical Stone, Ditch Blue Eyes, Drago, Target, Trade-In. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Add this to hand. I don't know if that's correct, but I'm not. I'm not thinking about it too much. That's six dragons discarded for rejuvenation. Um, and now we can pot of avarice if we want to. I don't think it's right to pot of avarice yet. I think we do it last. So we trade in, discard blue eyes, draw two. So that's gonna be another dragon discarded, and we found our first rejuve, which is really nice. So. Um, basically, we get to draw our entire deck this turn, because drawing 7 will hit another Rejuvenation, drawing 7 will hit another Rejuvenation, etc. So what I'm going to do is Pot of Avarice now. Target uh, Debris, White Stone, White Stone, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes. Yep, so 1, 2, 3... You gotta use the starter deck Kaiba Blue Eyes art if you play this deck. It's like the only way to do it, really. Okay, shuffle, draw two. Very nice. We found two cards that don't do anything yet, but they will do something very shortly. We're gonna Super Rejuvenation, so that's seven. And then we're gonna Magical Stone, discard White Stone, and discard the, um, probably the Debris. So that's gonna be two more dragons that we have discarded here. Uh, target rejuvenation and so we can add back rejuvenation and then um, we can white stone effect uh, search blue eyes could have targeted avarice there honestly would have been fine too but this is all good maybe I wasn't supposed to discard the debris I'm not really thinking because we've already won like that's just like where I'm at right now uh, we need to make sure and keep the Trunade in the Trag. So, do we want to trade in? No, because then we don't get a Rejuvenation. So... Did I add these after the thing? I did, yeah. Okay, let's just go Rejuvenation, draw 9. Let's set the trade in, I guess. Because, why the fuck not? End phase. Draw 9. Cool. And then I'll just rejuvenation again. And then draw another nine. And we guarantee see our whole deck. Sick. I should have probably targeted the Iris, but I'm gonna start discarding shit. Probably don't need Future Fusion. Probably don't need Upstar Goblin. I don't even know if I can win this game now that I'm thinking about it. That's kind of funny. Blue Eyes. Probably don't need this guy. Probably don't need this guy. Probably don't need this guy. Probably don't need this. Probably don't need two debris dragons. Is there a way I can like blow up the field? Yeah, I can blow up the field. I can field nuke. Oh, that's so awkward. I didn't find my vortex trooper. What the fuck? I still field nuke, right? Is there a black rose line? Are you dead ass? <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'm not thinking too hard about this. We don't need these. We don't need. Reckless is too slow. So the last two cards is what? Reckless plus um, Vortex Trooper are the last two cards. I don't need both Trunade and Heavy. Probably discard Heavy. I'll just discard a Red Eyes. We don't need three. Two is probably fine. All right, cool. Pass turn. Yeah, hopefully I don't get owned. I'm not sure I'm going to win this game, but... Yeah, we needed to find Vortex Trooper there, I think. 
Is there a way I can black rose? Oh, I can just fusionist. Oh, but then I have to spend my instant fusion. Oh no, Trag can copy a level, and then we're fine. Yeah, we're actually just fine here. Just Trag copy a level, and then... Trag copies... One? And then... Alright. Never mind, no targets. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna double sack for the titanium hand. He had no targets. Okay, cool. Whatever works. Oh, yeah, that's good. I don't know if I can win. I might have to wait till I get the Vortex Trooper online. That's really annoying. I guess if we top deck Vortex Trooper next turn, we can win. Maybe I should have held upstart because I needed to, but it's like I need all of these cards, so. Yeah, we'll take 2800, drop track. What's my win con here? I'm trying to think. Um, I'm not really sure. Pass. We drew the trooper. Thank God. Okay, cool. Let's just true nade. Yeah, drawing the trooper is really good. So we true nade here. He chains the Regeki break. No! I lose. Whatever. Pick up the cards in hand. I'm just kidding. I don't really lose here. I think I win. I should win, right? How do I get a six-star dragon? I can make Iron Chain, right? I guess I can make Iron Chain. Huh. This is really annoying. I think I punted this. <laughs> I should have won this game. I just didn't think about how we were going to win. I just assumed that Debris Double Red Med wins through everything, but I guess it doesn't really. How do I win this? Big think. He has one back row, he has future fusion, he has one unknown. Okay. Mirror Force is gone. So if we just put a bunch of guys into play, we should win next turn. I'm assuming. Unless his last card is Debris Dragon, then we're fine. So is there a way we can end on something resilient to Debris Dragon? That's the real question. Maybe? I don't even know. I don't even fucking know. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. <sighs> no matter what, it's going to be debris. Activate. Bring back. Whitestone? I guess. I guess we could have gone instant. Banish for red eyes. Special back debris. Normal vortex trooper blow up the board. But then we would have spent our normal and our instant, so we just lose there. I think we just put a bunch of guys in play and just hope he doesn't top deck debris. I don't know, man. Fucking. I don't know if there's like a better play than doing that. Activate. Special out. Blue eyes. Vanish for red eyes. I think I botched this one. I'm gonna be real. I don't know how to play this deck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> all right, what else? Uh, let's just beat that ass. Uh, kill them all. Kill them all. Just get them all out of here. Kill them all. Take 400. <laughs> Set trade in. <laughs> Pass turn. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm noticing a problem with the deck. I don't know how to actually kill people with it. Ah, I needed top deck debris. That's tough. You know, that's tough. I probably should have <laughs> this through. <laughs> mm, I probably should have thought that one through because that was pretty much a guaranteed win. But it's cool. It's cool. We'll mix it up. I'm just bringing the vortexes. Cart reckless greed. I hate this card. Actually, we're going first. It's not bad going first, I guess. We got Drago. I don't think he's that good. The stupid chain thing. I should have priority used Trag. I, not even priority. Yeah, I should have used Trag target the 
Lone Fire just to get the Vortex Trooper in the grave. Then I go Trunade, Black Rose, Instant Fusion, Red Med. But then I still lose. Don't I? No, I don't, because Instant Fusion, Red Med, bring back a guy, second Red Med. Uh, bring back Blue Eyes is... No, that's not even 10,000. Yeah. I couldn't deal 10,000. Huh. That was weird and annoying. This is probably a Prime Material matchup, too. Alright. He's probably bringing in DD Crow. So this card gets worse, and this card gets worse, but you kind of have to keep this card. So maybe we... I don't know. Do you side them out? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, bro. Top deck debris never goes wrong. I... Shit, man. He, you play the card, so... It's part of the vibes. Should we upstart now or wait? I think it's now. Because if we draw cards of consonants, we can like kind of go off. We did not draw cards of consonants. So we'll trade in. Token. Um, we've got one. Then I'm going to go super rejuvenation. And then card destruction. Card destruction should be banned in every format. Oh my god. What a stupid card. What an actually stupid card. Yeah. Guess we just set, set. Normal Vortex Trooper. No effect. Maybe I should have said it. Who fucking knows? Rejuvenation. M phase. Draw five. Draw another five. Very nice. Let's start discarding shit. I don't really want to give him more life points, so I'm going to discard upstart. Probably don't need future fusion at this point. Two more reckless seem kind of pointless. One, two. We can keep trade in blue eyes cards and consonants. Um, do we have two blue eyes in the grave already? Yeah, so the white stone doesn't do anything, so we just pitch that and pass. Cool. Sick. Vibes. I guess the white stone would have been better if I like top deck specifically avarice. But it is what it is. I'm at nine K. I don't think we can lose this one. I think we're just kinda crushing it. Because we're going to post up with the red eyes and a million cards. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe I should have kept the recklesses, though. I don't fucking know. You know? I don't fucking know. How can we lose? I guess we need to find a sweeper still, like a true nade. Lone fire activates, sure. That's pretty good. Titanial's annoying. Deals a lot of damage. Stops drag. Yep. Yeah. Battle phase, take 2800. Special drag. Drop a card. Rip second vortex. That's pretty cool. Just pass his turn. Well, we sided out Drago, so can't really win through that. But, well, we might be able to. Yeah, maybe not. Just trade in, draw two. That's so funny. All right, token, card of consonants, pitch, drop two. What? No dragons, what is going on? <laughs> Upstart goblin, draw one. There's a dragon. Am I greedy? Yes. Pitch, <laughs> draw two. <sighs> okay, good thing we found a dragon, because <laughs> that would have been really fucking bad. <laughs> All right, there's instant fusion, pay thousand. Special summon dark fire. Banish, special activate effect. Bring out blue eyes.
Hmm, I'm going to Rejuvenation for three this turn. So that means I want to have three cards in hand after I activate Rejuvenation. So I want to set one more card, or... Yeah, but I'll do that after. I'll just switch Trag, and we'll go Battle Phase. Trag attacks for 300. Red Eyes attacks for 28. And Blue Eyes attacks for 3,000. There's cores, main phase two. Um, do we have tuners left in our deck? We have Debris Dragon left in our deck. We don't have level eights left in our deck, so trade-in is the worst card. There's Vortex, blow up the guys, and then Rejuvenation, main phase, draw three. This is why this deck is scary as shit. It's just all right, now what? And we have the OTK again next turn. These are the scarier hands from Dragon Turbo, where it's like, I just drew 25 cards and I have two board pressures. How do you win? I think this is the scarier shot. I think we could have won last game too, but I was just playing like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I was just playing dumb. Sometimes you just be playing dumb, you know? And for me, I just be playing dumb. What can I say? Uh, yeah. I ain't gonna side. Fuck it. This is just gonna be a value rejuvenation matchup. Oh my god. I drew card destruction all three games. I'm fucking broken. This is this is arguably better in this deck than it is in Dark World. That's how insane card destruction is in this deck. It's so fucking stupid. Like, if we draw a rejuvenation here, it's like, how do we ever lose? We just can't. We're just, like, up, like, 15 cards. Set, set, whatever. Who cares? You know? Who asked? Trading. Oh my god, I'm him. I'm him. Alright. And this is like, people like say side in Mind Crush, but if I like Heavy Storm here and he chains Mind Crush, like, what does it do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? I'm gonna trade him first, though. He might solve this. That would suck. Alright. Rejuvenation one time for the fans. Oh my god. Fucking god. I'm so broken. Heavy storm. Chain dust shoot. Sure. Go off. I have the nuts. I have like an insane hand. This hand is ridiculous. This hand is just fucking stupid. I don't. Like, what is it? What is the vibes? Take debris? Perfect. That means I get Prime Mat in the grave. Alright. Debris gets shuffled back. That's what I'm saying. Like, what if you chain Minecraft there? Like, what do you even name? This is what fucking always happens to me when I side in Minecraft versus deck. My hand is fucking crazy, though, to be fair. Um. Yeah, it's just White Stone. White Stone. The other ones that we don't need. Future Future Card Destruction is very powerful. I'll sack the shit out of you. Card Destruction, all three games. I just, yeah, I just got fucking lucky as shit. How many Card of Consonants are left? Three. How many Trade-In are left? Two. Uh, one White Stone. I'll send the Guard. And then, I don't think we send Red Eyes or Debris. I think we need both of those. Which one do we need less? I guess we need two debris less, so we send debris. Uh, little stone. This is what Future Fusion is used for here. It's just used as a way to draw two blue eyes. Like this. And then we go card destruction. Both players discard hand. And we discarded three dragons. But... Our hand's not very good. Because we didn't find rejuvenation. I think we have to keep going. Unfortunate. Losing a debris is, is pretty bad. Because I sided out the Aversus. Oh my god. Yeah, it's really bad. Oof. Set Reckless. Pass. That sucks. 
yeah, I guess we lose. <laughs> That's just fucking crazy. But I mean, this is what the deck does, right? Um, people are scared of it. It's pretty easy to misplay with it, like I did in the first game. Where, like, if you don't know the exact boards you should be comboing into, like I definitely don't, then you can get punished for it. Um, that's why I think this deck, like, while it has a very low representation when good players play it or when people who practice with it play it, they usually win the tournament. So I think, like, if someone was practicing this deck, like, for real, for real, like Ghost Rider or Raikoko or uh, Celiavot, like, those are the three people who have won with it, but Hydro Pump, who's also gotten very close, and Pro Storm's also gotten very close to winning with the deck. Um, do we Reckless now? No, I think we just take the thousand. Um, those guys are like, dude, they're they're shooters, and they'll be at the tournament. So there's a chance they just dragon turbo high roll people. All right, drop returns trade in. Card is ass. I think we just have to reckless now, or we die next turn. Two. It's a re rejuvenation. A little late on the rejuvenation. Card of consonants. Pitch debris. It's one. Draw two. Vortex with red eyes. Unfortunately, I don't think we can. Vortex is bored, can we? If we vortex and we rejuvenation, rejuvenation, then we lose our red eyes, which I think is the worst possible. We get five-headed next turn, so I think maybe it's just Red Eye, Rejuvenation, draw one. We haven't seen Trag yet. Oh man, this is really annoying. Hmm. All right, you know what, I'm gonna I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. This is really complicated. I think this gives us the highest chance to win. Vortex the board. Pitch red eyes. I think it gives us the highest chance to win. We need to find like one more red eyes, but then next turn we get the. What did he search? I don't even fucking see. The dandelion or some shit? Dandelion. Okay, yeah, that's totally chill. Um, that's two for rejuvenation. So basically, I need to chain rejuvenations, and I need to find red eyes and some other shit. And then this way, we also get a fucking um, five-headed two. Okay, activate rejuvenation. Draw two more. Cool. Not great, but. We have Instant Fusion Red Eyes. Trunade kills the five headed. That's really annoying. Hmm. And we lost our Vortex. So we can't exactly like play through Dandy Tokens. Dude, that's so annoying. I think we might die here too. If he has like a spell card and a normal summon, I think we lose. But maybe not, who knows. How did he get the quick draw? Did we know he got the quick draw? I don't remember that. What did he search off Stratos? Consecrated Light, Jesus. All right. I'm gonna do what, he what did he search off Stratos? I didn't see. Uh, he's gonna pitch what he searched off Stratos. Alias, that's probably what he searched, yeah. But we can't get five headed here. So. Yeah, it's just upstart and pray, I guess. Pray we find second vortex. Yeah, we just die on board. Tough game. Consecrate is pretty good versus deck, especially when you can defend it with like, if you can go with consecrated stardust and then you have like a stop for Bryonic, um, it's just like layers of shit that they have to have to get through it. If they have the nuts, they can get through it, but they have to have the nuts basically. I don't know what he's thinking about here. Back row is clearly not real. Yeah, that's quick draw. 
Yeah, that's the smartest. If he summons Quick Draw and he makes a second drill here. Oh, he's gonna make Stardust. That's good too. That works. That's just game, yeah. Has to be defense position. His deck is the deck that I played recently at the um, but yes. Sorry, attack position. Has to be attack position, but yes. If Debris could bring back in defense, it'd be hella good. That'd be hella good. No problem. Um, it like comes up a lot that it has to bring it in attack, especially versus Book of Moon, but also versus Icarus attack, any sort of spot removal. Uh, yeah, switch to Consecrated to defense. No, maybe not. Okay. GG's. GG's. I have no outs. I definitely misplayed game one, but um, yeah. Weird stuff. This is uh, this is real pressure and just a little bit of interaction. The dust shoot, the consecrated, making sure you're attacking the deck. That's how you beat it. And hopefully this helps people see it's not indestructible. It bleeds, despite being I think one of the stronger decks in the format. Um, you just gotta make them need more. What was my hand? Trinade Red Med Instant. Uh, Vortex was the next card. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, missing the rejuvenations on that card destruction turn was rough, but that's just the way it goes. It's a combo deck. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.